In this video, I'll be explaining the concept or the logic behind the term percentage. Okay, what is percentage and how to calculate it? This particular concept is uh, introduced to students who are in studying in class five or six. And uh, remember that this concept is so important that it gets used along with so many other maths concepts from class 5 onwards okay percentage on its own is only used for maybe class 5 or maybe just class 6 but later on with the uh, interest rate simple interest or compound interest then along with profit and loss and so many other concepts are correlated to the term percentage so proper understanding of uh, this concept is extremely important for all students who are studying in class 5 and beyond and percentage is something that is uh, useful again in real life as well in later years means even for people like us uh, income tax and everything is calculated in percent terms even when we go to shopping and we see discounts being mentioned they are generally mentioned in percent terms okay so the concept of percentage and its proper understanding is extremely important for anyone okay not just for students it is useful for everyone so in this video i'll explain that concept and uh, i'll uh, explain it how to calculate it uh, with the use of a few simple examples okay the, the kind of examples that class 5 and 6 students are generally given okay let's start so first and foremost what is percentage so it's basically if you see the uh, importance is to the word per cent okay per cent what is cent century it's short short for century and what does century mean it's 100 okay so per cent means per 100 so in short percentage term actually means per 100 so you convert any given fraction to something like uh, per 100 with a denominator 100 and you get the percent value of the given fraction so this is the basic concept behind the term percentage whenever we convert a given fraction into an equivalent fraction with denominator 100 okay we get the percentage this is the basic logic behind percentage and uh, why is it calculated so in short to make it comparable so suppose a student scores uh, um, 18 marks in a 20 marks test okay the test was for 20 marks and he has scored 18 out of it and then a couple of months later another test was conducted and in that he scored 38 marks out of a 40 marks test now how do we make it comparable means which of these tests did the student perform better so to make it comparable it's always uh, preferred to find the respective percentage figures so what was the percentage he had scored during the 20 marks test and then what was the percentage he had scored during the 40 marks test and then once you find the percentage of both the tests you can easily compare them to find which of the tests did the student perform better okay so to make it easily comparable the percentage is a globally used term uh, so this understanding is becomes even more important now let's check it out with a few examples okay few simple examples first uh, the kind of examples that students in class 5 are generally given after they are just taught the concept of percentage so here i have mentioned find the percentages for the following fractions so these are the four examples i have uh, taken and i'll be uh, explaining how do we calculate the percentage for these fractions so six out of ten so basically you can say if uh, uh, 10 kids are there in a class and six of them attended so what was the percentage attendance okay attendance percentage then you can uh, find a fraction like this and to find the percentage how do we do it let's begin so first and foremost whenever we are supposed to find a percentage we take that fraction so here the 6 upon 10 fraction is taken and to find its percentage all you have to do is multiply that fraction by 100 okay so 6 upon 10 multiplied by 100 if we solve this we will get the percentage for 6 upon 10 fraction so next step would be 
what we'll do is we'll just uh, cancel one zero from ten along with one zero from hundred. Okay, I don't have a digital pen, so I won't be able to write it over this. But uh, the first step to do is whenever we uh, mention like this six upon ten multiplied by hundred, we can cancel a zero from this ten along with a zero from this hundred. So the next uh, step would be it would be it would reduce to six multiplied by ten. Okay, the denominator 10 would have reduced to just 1, so it uh, need not be mentioned over here. So what we get is 6 multiplied by 10. Okay, 1 0 reduced from 100 also brings it down to 10. So 6 multiplied by 10 and the answer is 60%. Okay, so if there are 10 students in a class and 6 of them attended a particular session, you can say that the attendance was 60%. Okay. The, now let's move to the second example. Second example, the, it's, the fraction is 19 upon 25. Again, the first step is same, 19 upon 25 fraction multiplied by 100. Now, how do we reduce this? So, if we know the table of 25, what is the table of 25? 25, uh, then 25 two times is 50, 25 three times is 75 and 25 four times is 100. Okay, so basically 100 is a multiple of 25 and it is 4 times of 25. So we can cancel this 25 with this 100 and we'll, it, this 25 will reduce to 1 whereas this 100 will reduce to 4. So the next step will, will be this. 19 multiplied by 4. Okay, this 25 and 100 have got cancelled and what remains is 4. So 19 multiplied by 4 which is 76. So the answer for this particular fraction, the percentage answer for this particular fraction is 76%. Okay. Similarly, now we'll move to the third example. Third example is 36 upon 75. So 36 upon 75, first step will be to just multiply it with 100. Again, we know that 75 is also a multiple of 25 and 100 is also a multiple of 25. So we can reduce these two numbers. If we reduce, divide 75 by 25, the uh, number remains is 3. Whereas if we divide 100 by 25, what remains is 4. So it will reduce to 4, whereas this 75 will reduce to 3. So the next, next step would be this. We will get 36 divided by 3 multiplied by 4. Okay, so for the next step now, what we need to do is we can divide 36 by 3. 36 is certainly divisible by 3. So the next step would be to divide 36 by this denominator 3. So we get 12 into 4. Okay, 36 upon 3 is 12. So next final answer would be 12 into 4, which is 48. So the answer, percentage answer for 36 upon 75 is 48%. Okay, so if, if somebody asks you that in a 75 marks test, if a student scores 36 marks, then what is his percentage? You can calculate it in this fashion and reply that the student has scored 48% marks. Okay, now let's move to the fourth example, the last one. It is 175 upon 250. So first step is same, we will multiply this fraction by 100. Now, uh, how can we reduce it? So the f it's very obvious that 100 is a multiple of 50 and even 250 is a multiple of 50. Uh, if we divide 100 by 50, it reduces down to 2. Whereas if we divide 250 by 50, then it reduces down to 5. So the next step would be we get 175 divided by 5 and this fraction is multiplied by 2. Okay, this 100 and 250 have reduced to these values after dividing both of them by 50. So after this, the next step would be 175 upon 5. We can certainly divide 175 by 5. So it then comes down to 35 multiplied by 2. Okay, so 175 divided by 5 is 35. So 35 multiplied by 2 is our final answer which comes to 70%. Okay, so if there is uh, in a, uh, let's say in a school there are 250 students. 
okay and 175 of them attended on a particular day then what was the overall attendance of the school if it uh, if somebody asks you to calculate it then you can calculate it in this fashion and tell them that the overall attendance was 70 percent okay so to calculate the uh, percentage of any given fraction i hope you have understood how to do it now in this uh, particular uh, video i have explained it with for these four examples so you may practice some examples like this uh, so that you can gain a little more confidence and then we can move forward to slightly higher difficulty sums.